hi this is Sandy from Simply Crafty SVGs and this video I want to show you how to resize a Simply Craft Crafty SVGs design with multiple SVG files within Cricut Design Space. Um, I get this question a lot because you have to import or upload multiple files um, to create one design. Um, there is some confusion over that for those that are not familiar with it. So even though this is specific to resizing designs that have multiple SVG files, uh, the same steps can be used for any single SVG file or Cricut image. So I already have it loaded. I'm going to use the R3D beer glass file as an example. I'm going to open it up. And there are five files to make this. So on the right hand side here, there's five separate files. I've actually already attached the score lines because that's something you have to do when we have score lines for any box or card. So I already had the attached lines, uh, I mean, the score lines attached. So I have them all together, and the reason I'm going to do that because it'll make it easier to resize. So to resize simply, and this is just on the fly resizing, you want to highlight everything, or you can click Control plus A on your keyboard to highlight every single file that's open. and um, Or you can hold the shift key down over here. I'll show you. I'm holding the shift key and clicking each of the, fi the files individually. So that's helpful if you want to select uh, only certain files to resize. So once you select them, you can go ahead and lower right hand corner you want to go ahead and drag, you'll see the little double arrow, and you can drag it up or down. So I'm dragging it down. So right now you can see um, I sized it down. Now I can't see things very well, obviously, because I can't see what size they are. We want to pay special attention to how big the largest files are, because that's as large as you can. Uh, size them. You can only go up to 11 and a half inches. So I'm going to highlight them, them again. This is the largest file over here. I'm going to size it up. So you can you can actually count it down by these are each individual ones. I got to go to the right because it won't let me do this. But see, that's one inch on my grid. You see where it says two, three, four, five on the left. Each box because I've changed my grid to have uh, the grids by inches are an inch. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I can go a little bit larger. So that's kind of what you want to do if you just want to do it visually. You can go up and down. Down is not the, down is only a problem because the tabs can get really small. But large is a problem because with Cricut Design Space you're limited to 11.5 inches uh, cut area. So you do need to pay special attention to that. So here's another method you can use to resize a square or rectangular box that some people use. Um, I brought in our square uh, snowman snowflake gift box. It's a it's a free file on Simply Crafty SVGs and um, Let's say it actually by default it's four inches square by two inches tall, and you wanted it um, three inches square. Now um, it's not so easy to control the height and just change how uh, wide it is um, because of the way it's built. But let's just say you just want to make it smaller so it's a smaller gift box. These are the steps you can use as well. This is just in addition to the previous uh, method. So let's say, like you said, you wanted to be have it three by three. We can bring in a shape, a square, and you see by default it comes in uh, 3.111. Up here, let's go ahead and resize it to three. So just as long as that lock is closed, if I say three here, it'll change it here as well. So now this is the size we want to size that box to. Well, the way that I would do it is put it in front, 
so it does by default come in front. But one thing I haven't done yet is attach the score line. So let me do that really quick. So I'm just going to change the score lines to score and then highlight that one scored and I'm going to go attach. And the second one, I'm going to change it to score. And these are solid, these are the optional solid score lines that we have for a majority of our newer files. Um, so you can use this instead of the cutting the dash lines. Let me attach that. Um, and it makes it much cleaner. Um, this is more popular now. It's easier with the score wheel on the maker, but you can do it with the score tool on the Explore Air and uh, the original Explorer, and obviously the Air 2. Air 2 doesn't um, score very well, so it just depends. I don't believe the score tool does really well with boxes. So now that we have these um, attached, I'm going to send this to back, move to back so I can see that box. I'm going to move that file out of the way. Because now what I want to do, just like I did in the previous example, is select all the files that belong to the de design. So you see I'm aligning this to the upper left hand corner. But we need to select all those files. So on the right here, I'm going to select everything but the square. So you can hold the shift key down, bypass the square on the right hand side. While you're holding the shift key down, click each of the other files. And you can see that the square is the only one not highlighted. So that means we have all the files selected that we need. I'm going to come in the lower left hand corner and zoom out so I can see this double arrow. Make sure in the right hand corner you see a double arrow and not a, a green round, uh, I'm sorry, a green circle with uh, four arrows. If it's that, then on the left hand side, make sure it's locked because if it's not locked, I'm going to unlock it and it becomes an icon on the right. I'm going to lock it and that way we know it's proportional when we size it. So I'm just going to drag it down and I have to adjust it a little bit and I'm going to zoom in a little bit and this is just approximate. This is not exact. If you want exact there's another video um, that you can watch that talks about doing percentages using percentages to resize which is a little bit more of an exact method so there's about three inches so now when you go to cut it and you can just move that to the side when you go to cut it it'll be three inches rather than four inches square and if you don't want that square to uh, cut out you want to either hide it or remove it or delete it so that's it. Um, we have another video that shows how to resize using percentages. So if you're interested, go ahead and head on over to that video. There'll be a link in the upper right hand corner. And um, that's it. I hope you found this helpful. And I thank you so much for watching my videos. And if you do like this video or any of my others, please subscribe. I would appreciate that. Thank you.